Hey y'all, this is Taylor with the Stats, and I'm here with Michelle. How you doing today, Michelle? Hi, hello everybody. Oh, can you tell us a little bit about your boutique and salon? Well, we're a salon in um, Carrieville, Tennessee, and the name of the salon and boutique is called Nori Alexander Style Studio. Um, we've been open um, since March. Um, we were under another name, so we kind of going through a transition as far as branding and everything go but um we're a one-stop shop we're a full service salon we do extensions natural hair makeup you name it okay boutique pretty much everything clothes shoes accessories okay okay and so you say you've been open since march how long have you actually been doing hair oh my goodness i've been doing hair <laughs> since i was about 15 years old okay. servicing the public um I've been a licensed cosmetologist for five years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of experience, it sounds like. Um, I know that this is something that's new for you, uh, but I assume that this is something you've always wanted to do. So can you just walk us a little bit through that process of you being a 15-year-old, like learning to do hair, to getting a license, to now having your own salon and boutique? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lot, but I'm going to try to shorten it up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I went to beauty school straight out of high school. Um, it took me about two and a half years to complete it. I took a leave of absence through, you know, because of personal reasons. Um, once I graduated, I immediately came into the salon. My aunt owned a salon, and I worked with her for about two years. Mm -hmm. And then she just came to me, and she was just saying, you know, she wanted to kind of start something else, set herself up for retirement, and then I took over the business. Um that's when my sister Jewel came along and she was like, you know, we should open up a boutique. And I was like, well, we should do it all, you know, in the salon. We have the ladies there and it'll just yeah. kind of be cool. We can offer, you know, the full look from head to toe. Yeah. So that's how the boutique, because we had the salon for three years prior mm -hmm. to integrating the boutique. Okay. But it's been open as a whole as one business since March of okay. 2017. Okay. And so I know... Um, you said this is the boutique is a little bit new, but really I wanted to ask you, so what is your specialty as far as hair? I know you say that y'all are a full salon, but there's, I'm sure something that's your favorite. Everybody has their specialty, definitely. And mine will probably be installations of all kinds. I just love doing weaves um, for several reasons, not necessarily just because it's a weave, but uh we change lives with weaves. You know, we are told, you know, to love our hair, but we have women that, you know, suffer from alopecia, cancer patients. So I kind I tend to get more, mm -hmm. you know, out of it by doing the weave. You know, we all yeah. have our natural hair used to that, but it's just something about helping somebody who feels a little insecure, you know. Yeah, and, just to you know, give them that little extra edge. Right. Yeah. Yes, so, I completely definitely. Understand. So, like I said, pretty much anything dealing with weaves, I specialize in. It can be from a custom wig unit, um, full quick weaves, full sew-ins. Pretty, like I said, with it, anything dealing with weaves, definitely. Okay. Okay. Um, so I do other things, but that is my specialty. I okay. also do natural hair as well. Okay. So do you get? Um, so most of your customers are for your um, weaves or are for your other services? I mostly are for the weaves just okay. because that's something that I've kind of it, it just kind of took a life of something you're known for yes yeah everybody got their special right that's, <laughs> that's what you want to be known for something because even though that's what you're known for people still know well if she good at this that means she must have already mastered everything else right right so. definitely definitely so I wouldn't say that I'm you know a pro at everything because we definitely have our strengths and our weaknesses but I wouldn't commit to do anything mm -hmm. you know or service the public if i if i did, if i wasn't sure yeah. that i can give you what you're asking for yeah, so for definitely sure. you know i'm a we don't play with people's time <laughs> hair or money <laughs> i totally understand <laughs> okay so miss michelle how often uh i mean what times are you usually open well, we're open every day from 11 until 8 p.m., Monday okay. through Friday. And on Saturdays, we're open from 12 until 7 p.m. Okay. Yes. So um, as far as my, that's the boutique as a whole. I am appointment only when it comes down to servicing clients as far as hair. Um, there's also another stylist here, Ravon Erica Brown, and she specializes in hair and makeup application as well. Okay. Um, both of us can be booked. Uh, we'll leave our name and, you know, contact information. Yeah. Um, I know you said you've been having the salon for three years. What is some advice that you would give to others who are looking to open a salon or even just to start their own business? What is something that you had to endure or go through as um, a person, you know, really seeking to have their own business? 
Um, first things first, I say don't discuss it with anyone unless you're sure and you're confident in yourself. It, well, I wouldn't say anyone, but if you're going to discuss your plan or your vision, do it with someone who you know truly has your best interests at heart and truly wants to see you succeed in life. Because the moment that you tell someone you want to do something, people has a tendency of always telling you the negative and it'll deter you from what mm -hmm. you're really, you know, your initial goal. Yeah. So that's my first thing. I, I feel, you know, it's definitely important to just sit and, and gather your thoughts and know for sure everything that you want to do before you step out and do it, because yeah. it's going to be a lot of people to come and tell you, you can't do it. It was so many people told us bad idea. You know, it, 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 <laughs> I mean, but you know, and, and you know, sometimes you'll get home like, I don't think I should do this. You know, I'm scared. Yeah. Everybody tell me I can't make it. I'm, doubt will kill it. Yeah. You know, so that I feel like that's my, you know, I always keep God first. Definitely. I yes. tell people you can't do anything without him. Yeah. You can try, <laughs> but that's something that I stand on hugely. I'm, I'm a firm believer that, you know, without God, you know, it's. No, you can't act you, can, you cannot do anything. <laughs> so definitely. But yeah, just, you know, don't don't share stuff with people who you don't think, you know, got your best interests at heart. All right, Miss Michelle, thank you so much for taking some time and talking with you. us today. This is the Style Center. We'll be right back. is open to men and women ages 18 and up. The winner will receive a custom piece from local designer Immortal Inc. and a cash prize of $250. For details on how to enter, contact us info at l3television.com. We want to see your style. Taylor with the Style Center again. I am here with Miss Jewel. She is the head chief in operation of the boutique that is here at the salon. Can you tell us a little bit about what you all have in the boutique? Well, basically in the boutique, we have anything you can think of from accessories to clothing, shoes. Um, we kind of specialize in our own handbag collection that okay. we did want to bring in. Um, it's the Nicole line. We also have something casual you may want to wear on an everyday trip or Mm -hmm. Anything you want to wear for a party or anything like that. Um, just a mixture of items, really. Okay, so how did you get started with fashion? Something I've been wanting to do for a while, and okay. it kind of started off slow. I just kind of did it for fun, basically, but it came to me about a year ago. I went to my sister because she did have the salon, and we decided to do it all in one, basically. Okay. Offer something that women love to do in one spot. Which is get our hair done, be pampered, get our makeup done, and yeah. of course shopping. Yeah. So I thank you for bringing this idea <laughs> yeah. to your sister because I'm going to come back. <laughs> so basically just like a getaway. So okay. You know, they can come, get their outfit, their hair relaxed. Just the, the feeling of peace, basically. Okay, so how exclusive are the pieces in your boutique? Um, They range. Uh, we, we do try to keep it upscale. We don't want anything, you know, that's just too much, so... We try to keep it a mixture for everyone. Okay. 
And so how often do you typically get new merchandise in? We try to get a shipment in at least every week. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty, I, I would say that's pretty exclusive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so as far as price range goes, what is like the typical price range for the boutique? Um, it's not really expensive, maybe forty nine ninety nine. dollars You may have some higher end pieces because we do offer custom pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, it really depends on the type of outfit that you're going for. So Okay. And as far as the shoes, uh, do y'all have a wide range of sizes? And Well, I guess shoes and clothes. Is there a wide range of sizes yes. for everyone? Now, we offer anywhere from a five and a half all the way into an 11. And on okay. sizes, we have something for the smaller, the extra small, and even the 2X and 3X. So okay. we don't want to limit it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because I know a lot of times, even people that are smaller like me, by the time we get to the store, the stuff is gone. And then right. other people who do wear those larger sizes, they either don't even have the option for right, the outfit right. that they're looking for, or it's already gone because they only get one or two in. Yeah, so. so we try to keep a quantity at least two to three sizes in each. Now we are a boutique, so we don't want to have so many pieces. Yeah. You know, we want to keep it to where they feel like, oh, you know, I'm on I'm the only one that has this. You have oh, that yeah, special sure. that special look that you can't get everywhere. So Yeah, for sure. So I know you said that you've always wanted to be in fashion. What is I guess prior to the boutique, what was your experience? Um, I really didn't have any experience. Just and this working. is your first? Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. <laughs> so it's really a fun ride for me. I'm trying new things, learning new things, pretty much all around, just getting in the groove of having a business. And yeah, that's that's something that's super important because you never want to get to a point to where you feel like you can't learn anything. Right, else. right. We should always be growing and evolving. So I'm so glad that you, yeah. like, again, brought this idea to your <laughs> right. sister because otherwise. Well, we get the chance to help a lot of people while yeah. doing it, so. Yeah, and that's a way to reach out to the community as well. Yeah. Okay, well, you did mention your specialty handbags. Is there another type of ex are there other types of accessories that you all sell as well? Yes, we offer eyewear, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, any type of accessory, scarves, anything you can think of that a woman would want. We have undergarments, anything. We, okay. We offer that. Okay, I didn't know, Basically, I didn't know so, all that. Yeah, so you're a one-stop shop, literally. Okay, literally a one-stop yeah. shop. Okay, I see you. Yeah. <laughs> How do you see this, like, growing? Where would you like for this to go? I know this is just the beginning for you, so if you could have an image of where you see this going in the future, what would it be? We are growing. We're going to grow, and it's going to be larger than I can ever imagine, um... We plan on going to different cities, pretty much doing the same thing, offering okay. something that all women love. They love to do so. It, okay. I, I feel like it'll be great. So you're trying to start a franchise. Right. I see you. I yep. see you. You know, business mindset. You got to always keep it abreast. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Ms. Jewel, for talking to us. I really enjoy, you know, sitting down with you. This is the Style Center. We'll Hello, right. my name is Nadia Matthews. I'm the founder of Lily Rose Studios. At the tender age of 16, I founded and produced my first stage play. In 2011, I opened the doors downtown in Memphis and opened Lily Rose Studios. Lily Rose Studios is a safe haven for kids to not only live their dreams, but to thrive and learn transferable skills such as self-esteem, leadership, public speaking, and confidence. Hi, my name is Karima. My name is Alexis. And acting workshops at Lily Rose are no ordinary experience. You can be able to use real scripts and real props. And learn about acting fundamentals such as blocking, voice projection, and mastering improv. These acting classes help gain experiences for future auditions and real-time work. Living well is fun, fun, fun. We like to play games and dress up. Now that I go to Lily Rose, I'm not afraid to speak in front of a big crowd. Lily Rose gives me the tools that I need to succeed in life. Lily Rose is a great place to practice your acting skills and not be afraid. And it's not hard to be a great actress or actor when you have the best teacher in the world, Miss Nadia Matthews. Hello, my name is William Little. And my name is Timothy Jones. And we're actors at Lily Rose Studio. I just started at Lily Rose Studio and I, and I have learned so much. Lily Rose Studios helps me prepare for real auditions and it increases my acting ability. Hi, my name is Mikhail Walker. When I was a little girl, I dreamed of being a movie star. And when I came to Lily Rose Studios, my dream came true. I was on the red carpet, I signed autographs, and I was on set. 
I urge you to support Lily Rose Studios. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Sponsoring a kid's tuition or sponsoring classes will help not only give them an opportunity to live their dreams, but to make them feel like they're working in Memphis on an actual Hollywood set. We have done numerous projects since we've been here, from producing stage plays, TV pilots, and even movies. Please help us in join the movement at Lily Rose Studios. We're only getting bigger and we want you to join us. Thank you. Hey guys, we're back with the Style Center. I am with Miss Michelle and Jewel. They're gonna describe my outfit a little bit. But before they do, I do just want to say that I feel fabulous in this. Yes. Well, <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> well, um, I guess I'll go since the mic is in my hand first. But Taylor, she's wearing a rose gold sequence dress. Um, if you can turn around, Taylor, so you can see the back. It's very sexy without being too raunchy. Um, perfect for a night out on the town with friends. Birthdays. And you can also dress it up. Maybe red carpet. Yeah. So, yeah, just a cool, you know, fun party piece. I definitely wouldn't wear this to church, but um, <laughs> definitely maybe out not. with my man. You know what I'm trying to impress yeah, with, you know? Yeah. yeah, trying to keep it. That's, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good number. But also, she's wearing um, the rose gold heels by Cape Ribbon. And um, those are very sexy. I mean, you can do those these. with a pair of jeans, so you know, sexy. skirt. What? However what you feel it. <laughs> So, Absolutely. yeah, but that's Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor cutting up today, y'all. Thanks, guys. Now we're going to have Miss <laughs> Hannah come in. She's also modeling one of the pieces from the boutique today. How you doing, girl? Good. Okay. Um, well, Miss Hannah, she's wearing a white um, bodycon dress. She has a little skin short. Not too much, but, you know, just a little. She's young. Um, Taylor just graduated. So she definitely want to feel, you know, sexy but respectable, you know, at the same time. Right. Um, just Got something shoes. you can either dress up or dress down, really. Um, you can go both ways. You can put a pair of new pumps on with it or even something jazzy. Right. Um, like she said, it's not showing too much, but it, it gives you that taste. Just enough, you know. Like I said, she's young. We don't want to put out the wrong image, but she definitely want to feel good, yeah, young, and feel, fly. Yeah. Um, a little more about the shoes. We kept it real simple with the shoes. I feel like the dress is doing enough. Mm -hmm. A nude shoe, you know, go with anything. You name it. You can put these shoes on. Like we said once again, jeans. Dress them down. You can dress them up. And just depend on how you feel. <laughs> well, thank y'all. We will take a break, and we'll be right back. L3 Media is the Miss South premier videography and photography company. We specialize in capturing all of life's greatest moments. Whenever you need talented and professional service for your special events or business, L3 Media is the company for you. You can contact us at all of our social media sites. You can like us on Facebook, check out our website, Follow us on Twitter, or always feel free to email us. We are L3 Media, your number one source for all your videography and photography needs. Give us a call today. Hi, I'm Devin Dion with the Style Center. I'm sitting here lonely with this empty chair, but you could be there. If you're promoting a local business, anything fashion-wise, you have a new clothing line coming out, you're a stylist, you need clients, come here so I can help you promote and get it out there to the world. Check out L3Television.com for more details. My name is Raya Wooten. Make sure you tune into Lights in the City on Sundays at 5 p.m. on Comcast Channel 31. Hey y'all, we're back with the Style Center. So again, I'm here with Miss Michelle and Jules. I am modeling another one of the outfits that is featured here in the boutique. If y'all could just give us them a rundown of what this outfit is, y'all, I'm looking good and feeling good. Look, sure. <laughs> Actually, really, like behind the scenes, she was bragging about this outfit. But um, once again, you know, young girl, we want to keep it sexy, but not too raunchy. Um, so we have a nice, sexy bodysuit here. You can do whatever you want to do with this bodysuit. If you at home with your man, you can do it by itself. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, we prefer, you know, to put a little something on it to cover it up, just to tone it down a little bit. Like I said, we want to go sexy, but we want respect, you know, at the end of the day. But this is a two piece duster set, um, comes with high waist leggings. It's very, very stretchy. Um, mm -hmm. she's also rocking the nude pumps. On the pig out uh, style, very high but sexy. Uh, you can do a lot with those jeans, 
um, dress. Yeah, these shoes are super versatile. Like yeah, everyday shoes. Like yeah, like everyday pretty much. Like shoes. really, you can wear them with everything. Um, yeah, so like I said, a nice comfortable duster. You can kind of split this set up. You can put the duster on with some jeans and wear the bodysuit as well. Mm -hmm. Just like we love pieces that you can do different things with. We never want a woman to leave out of here with something that she can only wear one way. We want you to always be able to change it up. Thank you for that. We we as women appreciate that. I'm trying to speak for everybody. <laughs> sure, for everybody. yes. I mean, when I shop, that's what I look for. I was like, okay, I know I'm aware for this, but what else can I do with it? So yeah, yeah. That's always important. Now let's bring in Hannah. She also has another one of the outfits featured from the boutique. Now let me just say, I love these shoes, girl. <laughs> me too. <laughs> and okay, Miss Hannah, she's rocking a romper, a coral romper set. Um, she's wearing it kind of off the shoulder. But you can actually tie this string here and it will not be an off the shoulder set. Um, she's also wearing the multi tassel heels. I love it's these right also here. with jeans. I own them personally. <laughs> this whole outfit I have. But like I said, once again, Miss Hannah is young. We definitely want to keep our youth, but we want to be sexy, you know, and feel good about ourselves at the same time. So this is just a nice casual, maybe Saturday outfit. And yes. You can wear it all day pretty much, you know. Night, evening, yes. brunch. Trans yeah, transition <laughs> outfit. Go yes, yes, definitely. So, like I said, we we want we have a little something for everybody. Yes. Even me, you know, I'm all of this came from the boutique as well. I can probably go to church. <laughs> I'm just, that's how versatile it is, seriously. We have something for people in their 50s. We have things for our younger clients, so... Well, thank you, Miss Hannah, for modeling this wonderful outfit. Girl, you look so cute. Yes. yes give us a spin again. I love this. <laughs> yeah, Gorgeous. So, yeah. <laughs> so just one more time before we go, tell us, you know, where you guys are located, your social media really quick, and then your hours again. Okay. We are Nori Alexander Style Studio. We are located in Carryville, Tennessee. It's 364 New Bahia Road, Suite 3, um, Carryville, Tennessee, 38017. Um, our social media right now, it's going to be Nori Alexander's, and that's N O R I. A L E X A N D E R S. Um, our hours are Monday through Friday from 11 to 8 p.m. And on Saturdays, we're open from 12 until 7. Okay. Thank yes. y'all so much for taking the time out to, you know, talk with us and tell us and shit. Really just let us into your lives and into your personal business. You know, <laughs> we really appreciate y'all letting us into the salon. And I know our viewers will appreciate it as well. So thank y'all for taking the time. Thank and we thank you yes. as well. Yes. We really Amazing appreciate you all coming thank out. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, thank you guys. I'm Taylor with the Style Center and we will catch y'all next time. This is Asha with the Style Center. Be sure to tune in every Wednesday at 10 p.m. on Comcast Channel 31.